This is going to be a very interesting matchup between age versus experience. Crystal being the youngest player ever to make the U.S. World Team at age 12, participating in the last World Championships against Jachi, who was a finalist in the 2012 U.S. Open, which quite a level above her first U.S. national singles competition here. One of the strongest players we've had on the women's tour in the U.S. over the last five or six years. Yeah, Jachi's really got a good game. She uses the short pips on the forehand. She, you'll see her twiddle a lot. She uses the smooth on the forehand side, or on the backhand side. The red side is smooth. The black side is the short pips. Krista will be using Tenergy on both sides. She's a two-wing looper out of Maryland. Heavy spin on both sides. Decent power. Pretty good movement. The short game favors Jachi, uh, but Crystal can play short. I'm curious to see if now all the productions are out. We got one table in the arena. All the focus is on these guys, Sean. And I'm really curious to see if Crystal's going to be able to hold her nerve. If she can, she can present some problems to Jachi, although Jachi is the heavy favorite. It seems like Jachi will have a number of options to go to with both, as you mentioned, Corey, that pips out forehand smash and her really amazing backhand loop off the hybrid, the reverse pen holder side on the backhand. Crystal so quick off the bounce, just likes to take it before the ball can breathe. Best of seven match, our first semifinals here from Las Vegas. You can see now with the quick backhands off the bounce, a lot of wrist play. Jachi using the smooth side of her racket to just brush over the top. In their corners, Crystal Wong. Crystal Wong will have Huang Tong Shen or Jack Wong from Maryland Table Tennis. And Jachi will have coach Massimo Constantini from the ICC. As the players get their final warm up rallies. I'm curious to see the strategy in this match, Sean. If I'm Crystal, Jachi's got a pretty good uh, pendulum serve. She likes to serve it in short, middle forehand. She serves out quite a bit. The best play for Crystal is to cut it out to Jachi's forehand. And she's just going to soft open with the short pips. But we'll see if Crystal tries to drop shot. She tries to drop shot. Jachi's forehand flip is world class. Jachi can really smack the heck out, heck out of the ball. You know, Corey, one of Crystal's amazing attributes is after she does those quick openings, she plays such wide angles. She never just plays the ball to the center of the table, which could be beneficial against Jachi because she's using that reverse pen holder grip. One of the weaknesses of the reverse pen holder grip is that the wide backhand can pose serious problems. That's the cut I was talking about. That's the cut she needs to make. That ball still had some size pin, so it kicked a little bit funny off the table there. And that's a type of exchange that Crystal will be happy to get into off of a deep serve where she can just snap that backhand in. <laughs> Excellent over the table. And the exchanges Jachi is going to want to get into, she's going to want to pound the middle of Crystal Wong. Being so tall and long arms, the middle is going to be where Jachi needs to spend most of her time going to. You can see Crystal does a really good job of getting into those live ones, Sean. Right, and Jachi, when she opens up with her backhand, because that is the smooth side, that forehand hit on the next ball really changes the dynamics on the ball, going from heavy topspin to a flat ball, tough to lift. Five. Very nice controlled slow opening there. And she did a good job getting her right leg out of the way and dealing with patient, that ball that yeah. came into her middle.
That's that forehand <laughs> smash. Jachi is so strong as a very thin person. When she turns the corner, she's not giving up much room. Yeah, that's her middle is actually one of her strong suits. Which is really rare. Crystal needs to spend time getting getting Jachi out to the wide forehand and the wide backhand. That's where she's gonna struggle a little bit. Jachi will struggle with those ones, but the middle one, she gets that right leg out of the way, leans over and pow, she whacks that ball pretty good. Nice placement serve there, just keeping it inside the wrist to the right. She really needs to cut that ball. Kind of a little bit of a routine opening for Crystal, just getting that first spin in and then being comfortable not to rush the ball or go for too much. Shows that international experience she's had playing in the World Championships as well as the World Junior Championships. And she's opening up a lead here in game one, which is exactly what I'm sure Coach Jack Wong would have ordered. Crystal uncomfortable with that exchange. Jachi's a smart player too, Sean. She's got a lot of international experience herself. She had a ranking in the world. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I know it was in the top 200. It might have been even top 150. Just a couple of years ago, she had a really good tournament. She played in the Brazil Open, and she, she played really well. She might even have won the tournament, so she's got a lot of international experience herself. That backhand opening from Jachi. With that pen holder grip, you don't imagine it can have that much spin on the ball, but she not only can spin it up, but she can rip it off the bounce. And the dynamic of the, the reverse pendulum, the reverse, they call it the RPB. The what dynamic it has, it has side spin too. So it's not just straight top spin like when, when traditional shake hand players open, it's got a little bit of side spin too, so it makes it extra nasty, especially when she goes into Crystal's middle. That's right, a tough ball to deal right with. right into her body. Yep. Oh, that's just an amazing over-the-table set of backhands by Crystal Wong as she takes game number one, 11-7, really nullifying Jachi's short game and opening loops. Yeah, she's not exchanging with the short, short stuff. She's, she's giving Jachi a little bit of a half long. Jachi's serving and she's stepping back a little bit too far, so she's not getting enough heavy spin on that opening. And it needs to have a little bit more penetration on that first ball, Sean, because if it's that slow, you can't pressure somebody's middle with a ball going three miles an hour. It has to have a little bit of zip on it in order to jam them. You know, I think, Corey, if Jachi were to begin to pivot just a little bit, those pips are gonna slow down that loop off the bounce so quickly. But at the same time, if she pivots, she's opening up her own wide forehand. And we have seen Crystal take that backhand down the line yeah, it's funny. Coach Wong has Crystal back out there ready to go already. He doesn't even want her to think about what to do. He's like, you just go do that again. I just, I hate it when you go back to the coach and you say, what should I do? And they say the same thing and you ask, what did I just do? Yeah. <laughs> You're just waiting. For I know what happened. Tips. I just kept playing. So just And that's probably what he wants right. her to do. Right. That's probably what Crystal will do. Just go out there and play. Stay focused. Yeah. Play oh. your game. Don't try anything new. Don't change tactics. I'm sure that Jachi... We'll move things around. And Josh is going to start serving more topspin like there. She served a topspin ball. I think she'll try to force Crystal to give her balls to hit a little bit off the serve and serve return. One off. And she's what, reaching. What's, what's amazing, Corey, you think we know Jachi, she's very strong, she beats a lot of men's players, but this is her first time on center court playing singles, and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. The table has changed. It's one table in the middle of a humongous court. We're, we've had two for the feature courts. Just seems like her, her timing's just a tad off. I'm sure she'll settle down, but Crystal has one speed. 
Krishna showing some really good off the table play. We were commenting while we were watching Lily Zhang yesterday how she's one of the few women who can take a step back off the table and, and, and play like that. And really cool to see that in her game already at such a young age. Well, I know from reading about her training, she'll train with different styles each day of the week. Sometimes she'll play against chopper, sometimes mm -hmm. lefty, sometimes pen holder, so she's getting a wide variety. And clearly, Jachi's game with the off the bounce RPB would be troubling for anyone, but that's Crystal's game. She loves to get in the, the, those back in back in exchanges like we've seen Ariel Shing and Lily Zhang do year after year in the finals here. That's a well-placed ball out to Crystal's forehand. Crystal's either gonna have to go, go big on that one or figure out a way to block it with a little bit more pace. Yeah, this is, the, this is what Crystal wasn't doing last game, right? She was getting into the short, short stuff. Jachi is more than happy to keep playing drop shots. And with the pips, it's a little bit easier to take a spin off the ball and give a low dead ball. Beautiful serve right into the elbow. This is exactly what Crystal doesn't want. She does not want to get into this in-out stuff. When she serves, get up there and cut that thing out. Crystal's either going to need to take a fuller step to play her backhand or turn the corner and get a forehand in. There's the forehand, good job. A little bit of a rushing on that last forehand by Crystal that went into the net. Seven five. The rhythm is so critical when you're playing against a pips out hitter. Whoever has that slight upper hand has such an advantage. One cool thing about Crystal that I really admire about her and her family and her support group is that she actually takes her winnings from her prize tournaments and they puts that towards her lessons. So she loves it. She pays for her own lessons. How cool is that at the age of 12? Amazing, just amazing. Her parents are more than happy to support her, but if they, it's kind of their way of saying, look, we're gonna support you, and you gotta show us that you want it too, and it's a really, really cool dynamic. She's already qualified for both the cadet and the junior girls team for 2015, so going into next year, I'm sure she'd like to add one more title with this women's singles on the line. She is no stranger to upsets. Last year she took down Lily Jean. No, she beat, it was Ariel. She beat Ariel last year in the under 21. Exactly, and she also made the finals of the North American and she's singles up, championship. She's also the under 21 national champion this year. Exactly, so she's already added a couple titles here in Vegas. And right now, if, if she can figure out a way of scoring two of these next three points, she will create some distance between her and Jachi Zhang. Jachi's taking extra time. <laughs> Rapid fire right off the bounce. Jachi really taking her time, slowing it down. Neither player going to the towel though at 9-9. First real big unforced error that we've seen in this match. And the second one, that ball caught the edge of Jachi's racket and just flew off the end. So both players having some timing issues. So you'll see she's gonna serve with the red, which is the smooth side, and then she'll twiddle over play the black side on her forehand. And right after that serve, she's able to get her backhand, reloop off the bounce, constantly changing the spin, adding, as you said, Corey, earlier, a little bit of side spin to those RPBs. Wow. 
Wow, what presence of mind to get back into the point after that errant bounce. And so Jachi Zhang has now evened up the match at one game apiece. So Sean, that played a really clean game in like three quarters there. It got a little sloppy at the end. They each missed a pretty easy push. So it seems like we're still kind of in the feeling out stage. We haven't seen the, a lot of bang bang rallies, which is great for Jachi. Jachi wants to play a lot of in out stuff, a lot of drop shots. Crystal just needs to play almost like a like a guy where you just cut out and let's just let's rock. Let's start ripping some balls back and forth because that's the game that favors Crystal, and she, that's the only way she's gonna be able to spread Jachi to the wide corners. And if she can't do that, Jachi is a huge favorite. Yeah, I think Jachi in the middle of the table has so much firepower and it really handcuffs Crystal to just keeping the ball on the table versus driving it or putting pressure. Um, clearly Jachi is a master of drop shots. I'd look for her to actually maybe push a couple deep just to back Crystal off so the drop shot has even more of a meaning to it. Third game, Wayne to serve. Love all. Love one. Two love. Corey, I feel if the game continues to be very slow with kind of a disjointed flow, it's going to favor Jachi it's just favor because Jachi her in a big way. ability to open up with a heavy spin, but also to take pace off the ball with the pips. Crystal loves rhythm. She loves speed. She's going to fight to open up every serve and credit Jachi for moving the ball around on her serve, never giving Crystal an easy first attack. That's the point Crystal needs to do more of. Just cut the dang thing out and play the point out from there. She'll get enough something to work with. Enough little stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's all, yeah, enough little stuff. Whenever you play somebody who's got the short pips, there's no threat. As long as your push is low, there's no threat of them opening really hard or with heavy spin. So, they're, but their drop shots are always good, right? So you just cut the ball out and just play. Yeah, they have to go for such a winner to do anything with that. And that's a beautiful backhand yeah. over the table. That's a great point. If you're in the Crystal Wong camp, this is exactly what you want to see. At that point, she just made a nasty cut. Josh, she made a nice, solid opening. But those fast, heavy spin rallies are, are really going to favor Crystal. Crystal had a really nice forehand block on that first opening over there, but just unable to convert with the... One of the things that Crystal's doing a lot of really good things, she's not spending enough time going out to the wide forehand of Jachi. She's spending a lot of time going to Jachi's backhand. Jachi's backhand is really solid, but maybe Crystal feels and Je Coach Jack Wong feel that yeah, her, Jachi's backhand is solid. Crystal's maybe a little stronger. Uh, that maybe that's how maybe that's her feeling on it, and she doesn't. She wants to. They want to stay away from the short pips, maybe. If it was me, I'd play into the short pips. But that's one of the reasons. Not like right that. Well, there. not like that though. <laughs> you can't sit a ball. Yeah, like I was that. gonna say once once you open it, if that ball's not on the back two inches, it's gonna get smacked. Every time I say <laughs> something like that, that happens. It's like on cue, <laughs> set up, pow. 
Well, that's very well played, first to the middle, then a little bit wider. And clearly the depth of Crystal's opening makes a huge difference whether Jachi's gonna have any positional advantage. And no real rhythm so far, but that's not unsuspected unsus with the pips play. Also, Jachi's taking a lot of pace off the serves on her return. And Jachi is using Tenergy on the forehand side, on, or well, on the it's smooth. normally her back end. It's her back end side, but she, the side she's serving with is Tenergy. And Crystal, I know, I've practiced with her a few times and she uses Tenergy on both sides. I know Beautiful deep time. push. Did you yeah. see that deep push? Got the opening and then took it off the She's bounce. Been, and, the, and, and Crystal's deep cut's good. You know, they came to the Little Deep Table Tennis Center and I practiced with her um, when they had a junior. They had something in Barbados and I practiced with Crystal. And I was really surprised because usually girls at that age, their deep pushes are usually really weak. And Crystal's isn't. Oh, Crystal can really it. cut that thing. Yeah, her cut's very, very good. Amy Wong is another young girl who should really get a lot of heavy spin on their pushes. Crystal would like to have that one back. Yeah, she led 9-8 in the last game too and she kind of let it get away. We'll see. We'll see if Jachi can pull out some, some magic here at the end of this game as well. Has the serve. Jachi's getting the better of the opening. It seems like Crystal, maybe she should go a little bit harder on that first ball and instead of just playing a control ball, make Jachi have to make a bigger yeah, shot. It seems like at the end, like that push was so slow, so it gave Jachi time to get under it and really give some heavy spin. There's that deep cut. That's and what the we're heavy talking about, yeah. She's gotta get that, that cut a little quicker to her. That way Jachi doesn't have as much time to load up that first ball of spin. That's what's causing Crystal to play such a soft block. Best of seven game. Currently deuce in the third. Oh, that was a nice backhand loop over the table. And she like 12 years old out here, 13 years old out here. Just takes her time, moves her feet, gets in really good position, and boom, just smoothly hits a backhand of the open court. The ability That's amazing. to wait for that ball to go through the hitting zone before she launched that backhand. Nice push and a control block. It was really set up nicely. So Crystal Wong with a early 2-1 lead. Some smart play there, Corey, the last two points of the game. Yeah, very good. And when it was it was smart, and then she executed really well. And, and Jachi is going to have to find a way to make a stronger. I, mean, I think one thing Jachi is going to have to start serving some topspin. Say, hey, you want to cut, cut, cut a top spin ball? Right, let's, right? let's see you get on the side of the ball because yeah. you're not going to get on top of it. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's one thing that Jachi is going to probably change. But outside of that, she, Jachi's just going to have to start winning some of these rallies and start getting her forehand into play a little bit. Crystal seems to be pretty comfortable going back into back end with her. I'd like to see Jachi does have the ability. She's got really good feet, Jachi. has really light on her feet, smooth, clean footwork. I wouldn't be surprised to see her start playing a ball to Crystal's middle stepping around and going after with the short pips forehand. Yeah, we really haven't seen Jachi forcing the pip issue. More content just to get into drop shot, couple deep pushes in her backhand opening. 14, dance to serve, La ball. You know, what's nice, Corey, about the opening with Jachi's forehand, it's always tough to gauge how much spin she's getting on it because sometimes she can add a little bit of spin with the pips, other times she can hit a little bit flatter. Yeah, well, and, well, the, and the spin that Jachi gets, a lot of it depends on how much spin Crystal gives her. If yeah. Crystal really cuts it hard, then Jachi's first opening is going to have more spin. If she just plays like a soft fade, it's not going to have as much spin. Yeah, that's the wide forehand. And when Crystal moves again. over off the bounce, she moves always with her height advantage. She always moves just the right amount. She's never reaching for the ball. So 
Generally, Jachi going out to Crystal's forehand. You think that's a good move, but Crystal is covering it quite well. Oh, Jachi never misses that. That is her best shot. And right her now, her flip is world class. Trailing two to one in games, she better reel this game right back in. Otherwise, Crystal could be eyeing a very comfortable, nice yeah. backhand. Yeah, the flip is good. Flip over the, flip the table. Is yeah, it's, it doesn't make any sense to be drop shotting. Anytime that ball's up even of a quarter of an inch. Like literally the worst shot Jachi's gonna play is a redrop, which is also not great for Crystal. There you go. That's what she needs to play. Just cut it. I think she's I, I think that's her overall strategy, but she is I think she's just trying to mix it so Jachi can't just step back and wait for it. Nice forehand there by John Chi. So a little, little bit of a mini step around there, not a huge foot movement to, to get in a position. Crystal needs to be aware that Jachi is going to start looking to get some forehand attacks in. It's that much tougher to smash or reloop a ball that has less spin. Four all. Jachi starting to get her own attacks into the game, starting to spray the ball around, not sitting there playing backhand to backhand all day long, taking one to the backhand and one wide out to the forehand. Keeping Crystal a little bit off balance. Four, five. Very smart move there. Sometimes the off pace loops can give the Pips out hitters even more difficult because the ball's not coming out to them. Tough to smash through the ball as it's dipping so quickly. Oh, that's a lot. Did that catch the edge? That it looks like it edge. did. What? Five. A Fortune move favors by. the brave. Oh, gosh. Jachi had a ball smashed right at her head, got out of the way, put her paddle on it, and caught the back corner of the table to stay within one point in this game. Wow, what nice hands, Crystal, off those heavy backhand openings. Just a nice control block. That's a heavy spin. That's really heavy. You don't think that the girls can put that much in the cadet division, but wow, she She's loaded 13 that up. years old, man. That thing was loaded. <laughs> 13-year-olds aren't supposed to make that kind of spin. Eight, six. Corey, when I watch the best Chinese women play, that's the biggest difference between them and the rest of the world. Not only do they have the hand speed, but when they the open up, of spin. it is just so heavy that it can nullify or just completely lock up any counter drivers. Nine, six. Jachi is showing a little bit of frustration here. Crystal's playing her game a lot more comfortably than Jachi has been able to control the table. And that, once again, heavy topspin. Jachi forced to take it off the bounce quicker. Uh, and the key there with Crystal's opening too, you're right, Sean, there's a lot of spin. But she's keeping the ball really low to the net too so that Jachi can't get above the ball. Jachi taking some risks, serving it out. I don't know if I would ever feel comfortable dealing with Crystal over the table with fast exchanges off the bounce. She's, she's braver than I am, <laughs> that's for sure. Great no, play. I know this is, this is gonna sound kind of stupid, but it actually, I, did, I played Crystal like a few months ago. A really good play for Jachi, when Crystal cuts out, cut it back. Her Crystal's opening is way better off of a slow half long ball than when you drive a push at her. She really struggles on, on those balls. And, and, and then you can take the block and kind of shove the block at her a little bit. And she doesn't do a great, Crystal doesn't do a great job of getting herself out of her own way. But I don't think we're going to see that tactic at all. That's like an old man tactic that I had to use because <laughs> I couldn't keep up with her speed, man. These girls are so fast. Oh, 
and Crystal Wong able to come out of that timeout with a very strong controlled rally. So now three games to one. is the number one seed in this tournament. It's a fascinating match. So, Hang on to your seats because we're just getting started. Coach Massimo Constantini encouraging Jachi to get back into this match. Yeah, and Jachi is really level-headed, Sean. She's not gonna she's not gonna put her head down and and, and, and sulk and, and give up yeah. for sure. She's gonna go back and battle. And there's this is Crystal's first time on this stage. She hasn't made the semifinals before. This is her first time here with one table in the arena still. Even though she's up 3-1, still, she still doesn't have this kind of experience. And it's different when you have to close it out. So we'll see. And I, th I think if Crystal is able to let Jachi come to her off of the inverted side, she can redirect some of that power. If Jachi comes to her with the pips, she's going to have to figure out what to do. But so far, she's had such soft hands on the forehand blocks. Really well done so far. One lot. Right now, you can see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel for Crystal. That was a very hard dug push that flew off the end of the table, but shows you her current mindset. She's going to put the pressure on Jachi. She's not going to wait for her. I mean, this is wow, those look really passive by Jachi. Yeah. Jachi's really passive. unsure of herself almost. Just yeah. almost now is not the time to be unsure. You just yeah. gotta go for it. You're not gonna win playing passive. You're playing a go heavy spins up mostly there. She's gotta just look at that. Even if she misses, move. she's gotta go after it though. She has no choice. You have to go after the ball. Wow, and Corey, you play against Here the pips out hitter. Here comes the out, I bet, Sean. Oh, nope, not yet. You play against the pips out hitter, sometimes you're out of position, it's actually easier. Yeah, here's the time, I was right, for <laughs> once in my life. I uh, clearly had Jachi gone down 5-1, that would be such a lead to try to come back from. Yeah, I would have been shocked to yeah. not see a time out there, that seemed like a pretty obvious call, especially after missing such an easy forehand there. But, again, credit Crystal. She's off the table, and she just tosses the ball on, doesn't try anything fancy, realizing yeah. that a pips out hitter has to do all the work off of a high ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pips out hitters do not, they, they don't traditionally hit They like a low ball, ball. Yeah. a lot easier yeah. to get yep. through, but a high ball, that angle's not as easy as one would think because they can't go over the top of the ball, they've got to go through it. So this is a huge point now. Huge point, you're right, Sean. Crystal with the serve. One. That was a great push. Four. I mean, Jachi opened up off of a ball that back edge and Crystal got into the exchange. Really feel that Crystal has a little bit of a slight advantage if they just do this back and forth as she can play her backhand out to Jachi's wide forehand a little easier. Yeah. And she's covering her own forehand. Look at that, look at that. Jachi's going oh. right out through the forehand and Crystal's bringing it back with a little bit of depth, forcing Jachi just to think, what do I need to do to she win get, a point? When Jachi gets Crystal off the table like that, she needs to just play a short ball, like a soft ball, make Crystal come back in. Crystal's side to side movement's very good. She doesn't move in and out all that well. Or diagonally. Yeah, so so she could just play like a real slow, like after Jachi flipped that ball, she could just play like a real slow ball and, and to make Crystal come back up, then step in and, and, and crank one. But, I would not be flipping that ball to Crystal's forehand. She's just too strong taking it cross court and down the line right now. Jachi yeah, just seems like a little buffado. Like she doesn't really know kind of what to do. She, Crystal had an answer for everything she's tried to do so far. Look at that, Crystal, that just that? a wall. Absorbing four solid off the bounce attacks and now four points away. That ball wasn't easy. That was a high ball, but 
getting on top of it with that reverse yeah, pin. Yeah, Sean, one thing that was cu made me curious about that shot is Jachi always steps around on that ball. And she must, she's having some forehand issues right now. She must because she always steps around on that ball. Anything high that floats, she steps around and pounds it with the short pips. Okay, well, um, I'm like one for 30, so this is, but the, I'm not getting paid anything, and I'm still overpaid. <laughs> She's not having any poor head issues there. She stepped around and just smoked the forehand. That was a nice one. Uh, Crystal going for a little bit too much there. And this is kind of what I was talking about at the beginning of the game. Crystal's never been here before, and she still has to close it out. We'll see if she can hold her nerve and um, close things out here. Great placement there by Jachi. So Jachi dodged a bullet right there. She did dodge a bullet, and there's a good timeout call for one. Um, Jachi, she kind of dug herself out in some ways, and in some ways Crystal started to overplay there at the end. She overplayed a backhand, and earlier in the game Jachi stepped around and just clobbered a forehand. But she still hasn't found any real solutions for the problems, Crystal, although Crystal just didn't play well at the end of that game. I still think the solution for Jachi, if she's going to have a solution, she's going to have to step around and start pounding balls with the forehand short pips because if she just sits there and plays back in the back, and Crystal's kind of dominated her in that, that part of the rally. Absolutely. This will be interesting to see if Coach Jack Wong from Maryland Table Tennis gives her any advice to change the opening. She has done well with some of these deep pushes. She's got to do a little bit more off of that first block. Six teams. Jane to serve. Love all. It's One that ball. no spin serve. Again. Maybe just get up there and cut it. It worked for the first few games. It does feel Corey as if Jachi has up the speed a little bit, a little bit more aggressive. Well, we're getting some crowd into it. We got the Maryland faithful up there getting behind their their club mate. One, two. Changing the pace of the ride after Jachi. She played the slow block there with the short pips and then pow she got back and she really she cut that backhand really cleanly. Two nets, two points for Crystal Wong. 
crystal can stay close, especially towards the latter part of this game. Just put so much pressure with a 3-2 lead. There's another one. Sometimes Jachi does that when she gets nervous, she just tries to kind of laugh it off, and forget about it, and move on. That was a nice opening with her forehand. She is starting to play more forehand, doesn't she, Sean? Yeah, she, she knows now that even though she's down three to two in games, as long as she keeps the lead in the particular game, she can play a little bit more offensive. Less just counter exchanging. Nice half long serve there that Jachi was trying to keep short. Four all. She's starting to go a lot more of the crystal long forehand here. It seems like both the, the last couple openings with the backhand, one with the backhand, one with the forehand, both of them went to the crystal long forehand. Five, Just four. some loose points here by Crystal. Okay. It's that same dead spin serve she lifted in to the net and out as she, the first point of the game. It's a tough serve to to flip. around it a little bit. We really only Corey had maybe like three or four rallies of any extended nature. Just a lot of both players. Let five off. That was a nice deep five, push there. Six. Couldn't really tell if it had a lot of spin, if she floated it deep, or if she actually got it with heavy underspin, but Crystal sent it quite a bit off the end of the table and now is facing a little bit of a deficit here. But that ball hits the net and goes off to even up the game. It's kind of funny watching these girls must not sweat because they don't use the towel breaks ever. I, like once I take a towel break, I'm like on the countdown. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to use the towel again because I'm just gushing with sweat. Oh, again that you saw the heavy, slow heavy. spin. Yep, and, and it's a timing issue as well as when that ball's not coming out. Jachi's unsure of whether she should go for broke or actually just trying to hit through it lightly. Yeah. A lot of. It's just their third backhand flip she's missed this game. But Jachi's smart. She's, that ball had a little bit of top spin on it. And she's constantly moving it just outside of Crystal's comfort zone. <laughs> Jachi's got to be wondering when are you going to get off this <laughs> net? Yeah. I mean, yeah. always when you play it against the pitch players, you see more nets. They hit it, it's such yeah, a flat trajectory, but it's with the inverted side Well, now. Crystal's the one getting them all. Right. Well, oh, that was a great oh, deep push oh. followed. This is a tug of war right now. Both players not giving an inch. Yep, and they're both out of timeouts. Jachi's gonna have to stay within herself right now. There heavy, it is. heavy, the heavy loop. That's been the difference so far in this match. Now we have three match points for Crystal Wong to be the first player. She's got to be so excited deep down right now. There's the top spin. And Crystal Wong will be in the women's singles final, taking out top seed Jachi Zen of ICC. Four to two, 12 year old Crystal Wong. That is unbelievable.